What's going on YouTube? Doug Smith here. Welcome to another episode of the We Sweet One. Today we're going to discuss overall poor man's lawn care. And the reason why we're going to discuss this is because, um, you know, maybe from this angle, it might not be the best image, like the best resolution, but this yard used to look like crap. Um, in fact, I used to make videos calling it my crappy yard um, and the front yard as well. Today we got some grass to cut and I'm gonna break out my string trimmer that I got um, from Greenworks and also my blower. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about those in the end. Um, but reason, reason why I use those products simply is because instead of paying $300 for a blower or 200 and something for a weed eater, I got them for something like $60 a piece, $70 a piece. And there's less mechanical stuff. There's no oil to mix. They're all electric. They're, they're battery powered. And to me, that's a lot easier. And in making these videos to explain to you guys, you know, the easiest ways to take care of your yard, I find that to be one of the easiest ways. Uh, just plug a battery when you're ready to work, just pull the battery, put it on your device, do your string trimming, take it off, put it on your blower, blow everything out, done. Uh, plus, easier to store because it's not hot like the way an engine would be or a motor. You don't have to worry about fuels or oils leaking or anything, um, or gaskets or anything like that. They're, they're a lot more simple in the way they work. So, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the grass and I'm gonna show you the way everything looks when it's done. And then I'm gonna refer back to, I think a video I did either in, I think it was in April, where I began this lawn care series. And I'm gonna show you a contrast of where we were and where we are now and along the way i'll kind of touch points of uh just little treatments we've done we just did a, a weed treatment um we overseeded and we just kept watering um, and actually as of the grass right now i have not watered the grass i think since may and today is august uh 15th i believe so with all that we're gonna go ahead and cut the grass unfortunately i still don't have a tripod for my videos so just uh, take my word for it that I cut it um, I've shown my mower and stuff in the past videos but I'm gonna go ahead and cut everything and then I'm gonna show you the results and then we're gonna compare that to my post mowing results about six months ago so uh, just stay tuned and that's where we're gonna jump in all right seems like as soon as I start recording there's noise so this is after I just set, blah, blah, just got done cutting. And, uh, you know, there's barely a spot in the yard where there's not grass. Um, so for number one, there's that. And so <clears throat> when it comes to, I mean, the way I got everything, the way it looks now, it really was not that much um, work that really went into it. I mean, you can go out and hire a lawn care professional, pay them, I don't know how much each month. Um, aside from actually having to go out and purchase the weed eater or the string trimmer or whatever you want to call it and the blower, um, those are pretty much the biggest expenses. Um, just a bag of, I think I had Scott Southern Gold Mix and then maybe a couple months ago I got a bag of uh, Scott's Heat Tolerant Blue Mix because I did want to incorporate some bluegrass and uh, bluegrass helps spread to fill in the area but that hasn't happened yet all this has just been seeded so um, there's this and we'll kind of clip back and forth between the old and the new and you should easily be able to tell the difference but this is the side yard and this is the front yard and again there was a lot of different things that were happening in the front yard before I even started um, I mean there was a lot of dead sections there was a lot of patches this is a trouble spot for me um, so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to make that work out I think I overseeded it in like the terms of seeded too much and the grass came up too thick and then it got waterlogged or too much moisture but needless to say everything's looking pretty decent and this whole video is not to, you know show you oh you know if you go and spend a couple thousand dollars and you do this and do that because 
you could easily rack up a lot of money doing lawn care um, just for your own property um, doing things like aerating dethatching um, having it you know renting equipment to do that stuff um, or hiring someone to do it um, I mean thinking maybe a better mower would be a better way to go and all that you don't need super expensive stuff to pull this off um, I just have a regular Briggs and Stratton mower um, it doesn't even have the bagging option it's it's a it's a lower price mower nothing expensive that we already had but the string trimmer and the blower I went out and purchased and um, I have links for everything in the description if you just want to check them out to see more details um, about you know how the electric stuff works uh, and there's tons of videos on YouTube you could also look for um, but overall my thing was just to get the grass looking thick again and so number one in the springtime you want to cut more often and you want to cut short and when I say short I don't mean the lowest setting on the mower or the second to lowest I mean cut maybe around two to three inches right around the middle to between middle and the top setting um, that way you know you're giving your grass enough length that it can get mature and be healthy you don't want to cut it too short where it can't really you know mature but you don't want to leave it too long that's for the summer once the summer hits the hot months the 90 degrees you want to have your cut higher at the highest setting because a longer blade of grass will hold its own up against the heat a lot better than a short blade so uh, right now this is August 15th and the video from the first one I believe was right around April so, you know, I'm just going to kind of discuss the things, you know, with what I've done. Like I said, I just did simple stuff. I, I sprinkled Epsom salt throughout the yard. Um, if you have a pump sprayer, you can mix it and spray it. I have a video. I'll uh, put, I guess, a, a card in the top right corner that you can watch. And that'll explain the whole Epsom salt measure. Um, but I mean, overall, just simple things. And, and if your yard is already full and it just doesn't have the color, um, you could simply go get a bag of Milorganite. And I mean, those range anywhere from 16 to $25, um, depending where you live, what vendors carry what in your area. Um, some people in the UK can't even get it because of, uh, I think, the iron content. But needless to say, this is something you could easily do, and I cover everything I've done in my videos. Um, and I actually have a lawn care series that at the end of this video, you can uh, you can easily click on and just kind of go through that, or you can go right to my channel and um, go through the videos I have there. I try to cover um, a lot of different things like weed killer, um, nutrients, how high, how low to cut. I try to cover sharpening your blade if you need to, and how to recognize if you need to sharpen your blade. Um, and you know things with how to plant your seed, how to keep it wet and moist so it will germinate. There's a whole range of stuff, but this is just from April to August. And uh, the comparison between everything, I would say this is pretty decent. Um, not the best, but pretty decent. And I will say, probably the best on the street. So there's that. So uh, with all of that. I hope you guys did enjoy this comparison. It, it was kind of a big eye-opener for me. I, I really didn't realize how big of a difference everything has, uh, you know, everything's made with just simple treatments, cutting a couple times a week, um, keeping up with the rain schedule. Cut before it rains a lot so you don't have to cut too much too fast after it's rained. There's a whole bunch of different things, and I discuss a lot of this in my videos. I'm, I'm pretty long-winded, but if you guys did enjoy this video i do ask that you give me a thumbs up it makes me know that i'm doing something that kind of is uh entertaining or answering any questions that you guys have i mean there's a reason why you clicked on the video right and so i want to uh just deliver on my end so um, if you have any questions any comments I, I greatly appreciate them and i always try to go back through comment get thumbs ups and all that back to you guys as well so if uh if you guys liked it, like I said, thumbs up, comment, and don't forget to subscribe if this is uh, up your alley. Most of my videos are like this, and uh, they're going to get better as time goes along. 
So with that, we'll see you on the next video.